The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm excited about sharing some off-brand Pong units that are in my collection. I've been wanting to do this video for a while, and I was waiting on a machine in the mail, and it came, and so I'm really excited about this. And so, for people that don't know, there's tons, there's tons of Pong machines made by many, many different companies, all shapes and sizes. You know, there's not a lot of gameplay variation, a little bit. The controllers can be different. And a lot of them, a lot of them may not work anymore. And so I'm going to unbox these and test these. Let's check it out. All right. So what you're looking at is two different Pong machines released by the same company, Concept 2000, in 1977. I don't know if Concept 2000 released anything else in the U.S. This is all I could find. And there could be something else out there. That's what's kind of cool is because... You know, some of these machines were widely available and other ones not so much. And so I've had this machine in my collection a long time. This one is brand new and I've never unboxed it. I just got it in the mail. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and show this first. Real quick, I wanted to showcase this box. Really cool 70s. I don't have the manual, unfortunately. On the top here, you have <laughs> a family that's enjoying their Pong machine. So yeah, got here, right there. Very cool. Definitely 70s. And I haven't tested it, so we're gonna test it. Okay. This is the TV4, and it's got Ooh, it's high tech. It's got removable controllers. <laughs> there. And it's got like a metal bottom to it. Okay. So back here, back here, you can see. Ooh, look how nice that battery compartment is. Ooh, that's nice. Now, one thing when you collect Pong machines, the battery compartments usually are corroded if you keep batteries in them. So it's nice to see a nice clean battery compartment. This one's nice looking. All right, looking at this a little bit closer, this is a pretty interesting setup here. And you have, you know, you have different angles that you can choose. So you can two to four angle. So that's kind of cool that it has that feature as a selection on the actual unit. Ball speed, manual serve, bat size. And then this is kind of interesting. It has the TV channel select right there on top of the unit. You know, that's actually pretty smart. And I wish other consoles had that on the top instead of turning them upside down and having that switch somewhere else. So uh, I thought that was kind of cool. Now these can be a pain, especially hardwired, and so I actually need another device so I can actually hook it up to my VCR. And so there you go. I'm gonna go show you the part that you need. So you're probably noticing that this is a problem, and what you need is one of these adapters. It's a push-on TV antenna adapter, and you just slide those prongs you unscrew these. And you fit the prongs right like so. You fit them in there. And then you tighten the screws. Voila! Now you can hook this up to a modern TV with less issues. Let's check it out. Before I turn this on, I wanna let you know that many of these Pong units are very finicky with TVs. I actually have this in my collection. This is an old Panasonic. It's got a micro tuner, and this can really dial in a console, especially it's really picky. And this is just one of those units. It's battery operated. I tried capturing the footage, I couldn't. And so this is as good as it gets. And there you go. And so it's your kind of your classic Pong unit. And so it's it's in black and white. That's what adds to some of the charm. And you know, the sound is coming from the actual console. So it makes it kind of annoying because you can't adjust the volume. But yes, yeah, so it's got several different modes. 
good old practice and then table tennis just your classic pong unit here but it works controllers work it's nice to see this is working and then you can change the angle of the of the ball which i thought was really cool we get some different angle shots by hitting the button on the actual unit so yeah it's working good these slider controllers are actually fairly nice so yeah, even though it doesn't show up too great on the the screen, uh, this is about as good as I got it. I was adjusting this on several different TVs, so yep. Let's try the Spectrum 6. I am so excited about this. I have not seen this Pong unit in person before, so it's pretty neat. You know, I have a lot of different Pong units in my collection, so I'm always excited about getting one I do not have. And so, from the back side here, it's got a Kind of a very cool 70s artwork. These aren't too expensive, you know, I've seen these online, but uncommon in my area. And so sometimes like Pong units were region specific. So it was kind of neat to see that. I wanted to show you the box there. Nice shape. All right, we're gonna go ahead and box this. And I've not opened this up before. Ooh, that's cool. Ooh, this is advanced. So while the other one didn't, that one didn't come with uh, an adapter, or at least mine didn't, this one did. And with its own box, Concept 2000 AC DC adapter. Always need to have the specific different adapter for a Pong unit. And so that's neat. Just glad it still has this box. <laughs> All right, got that. Let's see what else we got in here. Ooh, it's got packaging. No, no manual. That's okay. Dude, this thing's small. <laughs> All right. So this thing is tiny compared to the other one, and it's got. Whoa. That's a trip. So it's got two different setups here. So I'm definitely going to use that one using the adapter from the other Pong machine that I showed. It's 18 volt. Huh. That's why it's important to use the proper AC-DC adapter. And this machine is in really nice shape. Here. And it's got the channel three, channel four on the, back, on the underside. And then what you have here is these little little tiny controllers these are tiny like really tiny like that's crazy and so that is the actual controller and it, it fits nice and cute into the machine itself and what you notice in here is that the actual cable over time has like uh melted the other the plastic of the actual pong in it so yeah that's unfortunate that happens with these so that's a really interesting setup here so there's a game so you choose the different games there with that button bat size and reset and so yeah that's uh that's a pretty interesting setup I don't know if I've seen this particular type of pong unit and so yeah I'm curious how it looks and on the screen and gonna go check it out all right i'm pretty excited about this actually capturing this color video game spectrum 6 by concept 2000 the fact that this is capturing so nice it's really nice and i think the big difference is uh, these pong machines that have ac adapters uh, usually have a much better signal What's kind of nice on this Pong machine is by pressing the button on the actual unit game, you can get different uh, modes. So practice, you have Pong, and you have some different modes here. And so it's working. It's great. And so just uh, go ahead and uh, start game. And yep. Pretty cool. <laughs> nice colors. 
like the c color variation though back then having a color pong unit back in 77 pretty sweet this is kind of cool these modes where there's there's uh things that can ricochet the ball back to the unit uh back to the back to someone pretty sweet you can just quickly select a different mode and the score stays the same that's cool so this is just a straight up pong here but yeah it's capturing nice <laughs> oh it disappeared there <laughs> less modes on this uh unit than the other one that was just black and white but it does show up a lot better it's very cool it's nice to capture this old school and i had no idea this was working so it's it's nice to see that it's fully operational and here's practice So it's it's weird. So the once you hit the ball, your uh, your your bar disappears. Interesting. And then back here, that is so cool. I just I'm really a big fan of these vintage pong units and this tiny variations. You know, a lot of people may not care. I care. Um, this you know working. You know, so many years after it came out. You know, this came out in 1977. I can't believe. You know, it's fully operational 42 years later after it came out. So there you have it. There's a ton of these units out there. They're fun to collect. They're neat to have on a shelf. It's neat to have someone come over and say, whoa, I don't remember seeing that. And so this has inspired me to do my expansion, you know, having my Pong machines boxed up on the up on the shelf. I love collecting these things. I'm always looking for ones I don't have. And I hope this encourages you to reach out and maybe try to get a Pong machine. They're a lot of fun. It's old school. It doesn't take a lot of rocket science to play and a lot of fun. So there you have it. A link below to, I think an outdated list, but it's a great place to start if you wanna start collecting these. And so thank you so much. I really got excited about doing today's video and hope you enjoy it as I'm almost there at 80,000 subs. My next goal is 90,000. So thank you for all the support and encouragement. This is the Immortal John Hancock. Thank you so much. You take care.